So I think people think of ChatGPT as something that you can only ask questions to. Um, but a lot of times what I really want it to do is actually ask me questions and challenge my assumptions and make an argue, a counter argument to me of why something works or doesn't work the way I think it might work. Um, and it's an incredibly effective thought partner in that regard. And it can be at really big things, <clears throat> you know, or it can be at really, you know, low level dumb things. I just got a puppy uh, <laughs> and I, you know, I had dogs my whole life. And, uh, you know, we've, we've had a puppy that now is, um, uh, is, has been, uh, I would say not the easiest when it comes to getting her to calm down and go to sleep. Uh, and, you know, my wife and I could not figure out how to how to get her to do this. And so ChatGPT kind of being a, a resource for challenging our assumptions about what we thought we knew about puppy training, uh, for example, has been an interesting experience. O3 is something special. And, and we talked a lot about, yeah, what happens when the models can can push as well as pull in when they can kind of, you know, get you to think about a thing. And that has been just just been amazing. O3 has really been a fun experience talking to. It's the first time I felt like it's not just something that's kind of telling me a thing that it looked up versus something it thought about. Brad, Ronnie, thank you very much. 